What's up, YouTube? So, took a little walk down here today to uh, my little scrap pile. It's getting a little bit overgrown. Um, it's all for like doing metal art and uh, projects and whatnot. But uh, I'm thinking one of these would be great to uh, use the metal off of for my little go-kart project. So I'm going to uh, get the tractor and drag this up there. Um, I got like five of these at an auction for like 50 bucks. And uh, I think probably because nobody really wanted to pick them up. I had a flatbed so it was easy. They just put it right on there with a forklift. But uh, I just seen them as, as uh, you know, pieces, parts. And, uh, you know, they came with these. They used to have spools on them. But uh, it, it's just repurposing material to me. You know, it's even kind of cool these fit on there and kind of spin. You know, that's, I mean, that's basically a hinge right there. If I want to build a hinge, you know, I can cut that off, weld it to something else. Boom, there's a hinge. So, it, I don't know. I, I just, I uh, thought that there was a lot of uh, useful material on them. You guys will probably understand if you're into uh, welding and doing projects and stuff. So, anyways, I'm going to drag one of those up the hill and uh, start cutting on it and using some of the pieces and parts. Hopefully that'll hold it on there. I just got it stuck through up there and over that. So I'll try to pick it up real quick. See what happens. There you go. I don't think that should come off. So I'm gonna drive on up the hill. Couldn't film through the tight spot there took a little bit too much of my concentration driving. Trying to stay over here out of the mud. It's been dry for a couple days now which helps. Awesome, didn't get too stuck or nothing. Put that one up for sale again last night, the uh, tow truck. The blue uh, camper's up for sale too. We'll see what happens with those. That's how far I've gotten on the grill of the F800 project. And there's the Apocalypse uh, Predator Power Bug that we're working on. This was the first piece I was after. I want to see if this will fit over the transmission shaft and so I could connect this to that clutch disc which has got the proper splines in it and then I just have to figure out how to put this to the go-kart shaft. It slides over a little but not entirely but I'm betting I can pound it in there and then it should be nice and straight too and then I'll just have to cut this down you know somewhere probably about here and so I can connect a piece of go-kart go uh, jack shaft or axle or whatever to this and yes I could have bought it like a go-kart uh, hub to do this but uh, most of them didn't have the inside diameter that I needed to, and the depth to, to clear this and I really didn't want to have to cut the tip off of this um, uh, transmission output if you see what I'm saying so you got to clear this much just to get to the splines, you know, and you you want enough splines engaged so you want this slid on there far enough. You get what I'm saying? So, all right. So I noticed this and I'm glad that I did before I got too far along, but this is not centered up. You see how it's got a lip on that side? You turn it around, it doesn't. So that would have instantly gave me you know, an out around, out of a level deal, you know. So, I ended up knocking it over that end. And, uh, I'm just going to have to use a square 
and square it up all around real real good and then I'll just weld I thought about removing all this but honestly I'm wondering you know why go through the trouble um, I don't think that it's uh, gonna harm anything it's not really a lot of uh, rotating mass or nothing so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it instead of taking the extra step so I got that cut in half with an angle grinder and people are probably gonna be like dang he used an angle grinder and he got it yeah yeah I did um, I don't have a, a lathe or nothing I wish I did I hope to in the future but uh yeah this is gonna be kind of a backyard kind of uh, hack together build and so uh, yeah something that anybody can do so hit like hit subscribe follow along if uh, that's what you're into or if you don't have all the high-end tools and stuff but just a tip how I did this is I, I held the angle grinder and then with the other hand I just kept on rotating the part and you can see the indention the indention right here kind of in the gravel where that sat and this sat and uh, that was like my little make makeshift lathe basically I just keep on rotating it because the you know it had its own little indention there in the gravel keep on rotating 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 while holding the uh, angle grinder study in the other hand until it went all the way through so uh yeah that was the best way that i found to do it so now i'm going to get a piece of this cut down and the reason why i'm using the spacer and stuff like that is uh because i didn't want to cut the shaft off the end of there just in case somebody ever wants to put a bug motor or something in this in the future um there's no reason in destroying the transmission that's what i'm saying this this slips over the transmission shaft that deep and so then I want that to you know come over that and then this will come out a little bit which actually gives me a great depth for you know my chain or whatnot out here so I might even add a little bit further onto this just uh, yeah just to give me a little more space and room for my torque converter and whatnot so I got a piece cut down off the end of that, I kind of pushed it over that, not all the way, I can hammer it further and make sure that it's squared up, but then here's this, so it's going to go in like that, and once those are both welded, that'll be, you know, just one solid dealio, and uh, then with my jack shaft, I'm going to end up connecting it to this. And I'll probably cut that down quite a bit, you know, so that it will be just that, you know, and then the gear and then a carrier bearing, a bit of space carrier bearing or whatever. We'll see how it works out. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm liking that though. So we really, literally just went through all that for nothing, but I still wanna include it, just so that somebody else might get ideas off of that design. Also wanted to show you guys, if you took just a sprocket and bolted it to something like this, cut it down to length, and just put it on on there right now you got your sprocket already bolted to that right and then you just have to find something that goes like a, a you know a jack shaft or a, a go-kart axle or whatever that goes to this ID this inside diameter and then throw another bearing at this end and I think that would be just fine too you know it would be in there of course so I'm saying shorten it up about here so that it'd be way in there. But yeah, I think that would work too. Just just another idea for you guys. So I end up going through this uh this is all my like junk sockets. They were from like mismatched sets, sets that I found in like garage cleanouts and stuff when I did dump runs. Just kind of a bunch of mismatched junk. Well, 
I found this guy that fits the clutch uh, piece. And it's already got that. So then I wouldn't be adapting, you know, multiple pieces to do what I want. It would just be one piece. So this is my thought. I was going to have, you know, this, which basically made up a socket or whatever, you know, because that undid. And then that was detachable right there. So that's what I was going to have. Well, I went through my uh, junk sockets and I found this. Well, the problem with that is... So the problem was is it won't go over that shaft. And like I said before, I want to leave that in case somebody ever wants to put a bug motor in this in the future. So it fit, you know, that... That would be good to weld up, but I just couldn't slide it on far enough to get good, uh, you know, spline uh, engagement. So, we got this one. And uh, I wish I could have repurposed or reused one, but I mean, it was cheap enough, eight bucks, really isn't a big deal. And I figure that this is something that everybody's going to have on hand versus that, you know, not everybody has one of these to tear apart. I want this to be something that the common every day guy can grab up the tools and uh, adapt a jack shaft to his manual transmission, whether it be a bug or something else. This idea will work for any vehicle, right? On a different kind of car, you'll just have to find a different size, but this part will still adapt in. And my idea for that is I ordered a three quarter inch jack shaft. I'm just gonna use my angle grinder and grind down the tip to fit this half inch drive uh, socket. And then my jack shaft will fit this. And it'll, you know, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll have just a little bit of give there, you know, like a little joint to where it's not hogging out my bearings in the back of the transmission or nothing. So yeah that's my idea guys uh if you like it if you found this helpful if you found this information helpful hit like man give me a little thumbs up subscribe to the channel follow along it really does help out so uh yeah till next time keep building shit guys Alrighty, guys so i underwent some changes instead of uh that i think it was a three quarter inch drive that I was going to use basically this is the setup that we've got now we've got the socket the bearing the uh, sprocket and this one it's got a, a free ride whatever in it and I didn't mean to get that but lesson learned um, I'm just learning this stuff I'm just starting to uh, experiment and have fun with it uh, and then the next bearing and uh, basically I'm going to weld that socket onto the clutch disc which is a cheap part and pulls on and off the transmission easily and then you see those uh, pillow bearings there basically I'm going to arrange these pieces of metal like they are with those bolted through right and then I'll have to uh, weld something else you know between them but uh, then I'm gonna mount mount that somewhere you know either across two bolts or whatever you know I'll have to have something else coming off those bolts obviously to set it off just a tad but you get what I'm saying so something else is gonna be connected to them that'll set this off but uh, with those bearings bolted through that and uh then that'll you know these spaced these spaced apart and so that the um chain can go between is my plan and then i grabbed this it's a piece of a hand truck dolly thing from harbor freight um but it was down in my metal pile my junk pile so i'm gonna cut that up and make a motor plate out of it i think um drill or you know drill holes into it and then cut it down to size and uh do a motor plate out of that and then 
I'll probably use some of this scrap metal or whatnot to, uh, yeah, finish it off. And then this stuff's got to come off of here. I was even thinking about getting rid of the whole back little piece right here of this car. Just, A, it would save weight, and B, it would make, uh, you know, chain adjustments, chain removal, replacements, etc. easier. But I do got this little uh, cheap eBay uh, torque converter here that I'm going to be using. And so the motor will be sitting, you know, right up here going down to uh the sprocket on that hope that uh helps somebody else come up with some ideas and uh yeah till next time keep building shit guys hit like and subscribe and uh this project will be coming along here really soon um right now yes i'm just using an actual extension and uh showing you guys the mock-up but i am i've got a three quarter inch jack shaft coming that uh, I plan to just kind of angle grind and file down the end into a square so that it fits into the socket just like an extension would. So, alright guys, hit like and subscribe. Till next time, keep building shit.